Hi friends, it's Amy. Welcome to my bookish life. Today I have some bookish unboxings. So let's get to it. Let's start with book of the month. This month I chose Breathless by Amy McCall. I find mountain climbing, that whole sport hobby, fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. And you throw in a murder and it just feels, yes, please. Okay. There's a killer on the mountain. Journalist Cicely Wong is in over her head. She comes to Manaslu, the eighth highest peak in the world, to interview internationally famous mountaineer Charles McVay on the last leg of a record-breaking series of summits. She's given up everything for the story, her boyfriend, her life savings, the peace she's made with her climbing failures in the past, but it's a career-making opportunity. It could finally put her life back on track, but when one climber dies in what everyone else assumes is a freak accident, she fears their expedition is in danger, and by the time a second climber dies, it's too late to turn back. Stranded on the mountain in one of the most remote, re remote regions of the world, she'll have to battle more than the elements in a harrowing fight for survival against a killer who is picking them off one by one. It just sounds so good. And I often gravitate towards the thrillers for Book of the Month, and I don't really know why. It's just something that I do. So, Breathless by Amy McCullough. Bookshelf Thomasville. Hey Amy, I don't know about you, but I am constantly looking for a book that will fill the Harry Potter-sized hole in my heart that has been there since the end of the Deathly Hallows. Finally, I think I have found it. A magical school in the clouds, a girl who is the first of her kind to enter, an escaped prisoner, and a missing teacher all rolled up to start a, into the start of a series. It's going to be an awesome ride, you guys. I hope you enjoy it as much as I did. Enjoy, Olivia. If you like Amari and the Knight Brothers, you'll love this month's pick. All right, so let's see what Bookshop Thomasville has sent me this month. The Marvelers by Danielle Clayton. I have heard of this book. Was it Amanda, the curly reader, talked about this book? I feel like she did. It sounded so good. I don't remember if I wrote, I don't even remember if I wrote it down, but oh my gosh, this looks beautiful. Okay. Marvelous. The lucky kids got called bad. Praise like honey drizzled on hot biscuits. But Ella's family didn't believe in gassing you up. Clothes ironed, make your bed, clean your plate, and most importantly, did you mind your business so nobody was minding you? Even now, during the greatest, the awesomest, the most spectacular thing that has ever happened in all 11 years of Ella Duran's life, her parents were squabbling and telling her what to do. Oh, oh my goodness. I remember her showing this. It's so gorgeous. Ah, uh, I think. Oh, oh my gosh! Look at that. <sighs> yep. Okay. I'm excited for this. <laughs> All right. Last but not least, my books and treasure box. Let the love of a new book bloom this month. Happy reading, Sarah and Eric, Books and Treasures. Nice. <gasps> Ooh. Fruity Fusion Foot Bath Soak. That'll be nice. Bath salts are nice. Uh, Lloyds of La Luna Into the Garden. Oh. oh my. Look at that. Oh. 
Look at this. <laughs> That's intense. That's a lot. I cannot, I love how these smell, but I can't bring myself to burn them. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, the coffee. Can't believe I didn't take these out first. Let's see. Chocolate hazelnut cream, French vanilla, and another chocolate hazelnut cream. Oh, that, ooh. Ooh. Um, I looks like a little cork board. Kind of cool. I like it. Um, I don't like that there's pins coming out the back though. I mean, from these, that looks. It looks so cool. I have to figure out what to do with it though. I love those pins. It's pretty. It's pretty cool. <gasps> oh dear. More magnets. A book is a dream that you hold in your hand. Oops. And I love books. Very cool. Mug. Ooh. Look at those colors. Nice. And the book. Oh, look at. I love that charm. The butterfly. Butterfly in the sky. Okay. Let's see what the book is. Red Scarf Girl. A Memoir of the Cultural Revolution by G. Lee Zhang. I like memoirs. Geely's deeply moving story should be on the shelf of every person's library. Her courage in the face of adversity and her steadfast loyalty and love for her family are truly inspirational for young and old alike. It's very cool. All right, so here are the three books that I have received for my subscriptions this month. Breathless, The Marvelers, and Red Scarf Girl. Have you read any of these books? I would love to hear from you down in the comments. That's all I have for you today. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more from me, please do, do, do subscribe. And as always, I hope you're finding something wonderful to read. Until next time, happy reading. Bye.